Okay, let's go back to um, a fairly basic distributive law, but with letters. But again, still some students make mistakes on this. Okay, you're multiplying through the parenthesis. It's a distributive law. X times X and X times 5. Now, students just seem, seem to forget. Remember, this is an X1 times an X1. Isn't that X2, X squared? Always remember, an X times an X is an X squared, and you won't go wrong. What's x times 5? All I can do is put a 5 next to an x and call it 5x. Okay, now there you go. That's as basic as it gets, but I still get mistakes on those. All right, so just be careful. All right, so what we're actually going to do now is look at this. Okay, something called the FOIL method. Okay, you're not multiplying one thing by two things. Okay, so I'm just multiplying x by this binomial here. A monomial times a binomial. I'm going to do a binomial by a binomial. <clears throat> okay, so the FOIL method is this. You do the first two, that would be the x and the x. You will then do the outer two, that will be the x and the 5. So really what you've done is you've taken this x, you've multiplied by that one and that one, and then you've used up the x. Okay. You then take the 3, this is the i for inner. So first, outer, inner, and that's the inner two, the 3 times the x, and then L for last, the last two, the 3 times the 5. So FOIL, first, outer, inner, last. First two, outer two, inner two, last two. Okay, so let's have a look at that. I'll do it, I'll do that one. x plus 3, okay, times x plus 5. So now it's a binomial times a binomial. There's two things being multiplied by two things. Okay, here we go. Arrows are helpful. The first, 2. x times x. Now do remember, what is it? x times x is not just x, it's x squared. You've just done the f first in FOIL. Okay, the outer. That's that with that. Okay, x times 5, 5 times x is 5x. Right, I've kind of used up the x, I'm going to take the 3 now. It's the inner 2. 3 times x is 3x. And finally, the last, the 3 times the 5. Okay, and isn't that a 15? Now, notice, when I've got all these together, notice, look, these two are like terms. The final answer is x squared plus 8x plus 15, okay? And that's the answer. I mean, they don't vary that uh, much, really, okay, apart from different signs. So there we go. That would be the answer to that one. Okay, just go through it. Uh, I've already erased it. Put it on pause the video if you need to look at it again. I'm going to erase it all because... Oh, let's get a bigger eraser. All right, here we go. Okay, let's have a look at this one. A bit nastier, no different. It's a foil again. 12y squared times 12y squared is the first. What's 12 times 12? Remember, don't add them, please. 12 times 12 is 144. All right. Now, what's a y squared times a y squared? We add exponents you get y fourth, okay? That is 12y squared times 12y squared. What's the outer? Just what's 2 times 12y squared? Isn't that 24y squared? Not changing the y's, there's no more y's to change, but 2 times 12 is 24. Okay, I have done the first and the outer. Let's do the inner two. Okay, what's negative 2 times 12? That's negative 24 with the y squared still. Okay, so that's negative 24 y squared. And finally, what's the last? What's negative 2 times positive 2? That is negative 4. Now, I get a lot of people just, you know, getting the signs wrong. Okay, there was negatives, there was positives. Make sure you get the signs wrong. Now, again, with these middle two, they are both y squared terms. There's nothing to change the 144 y4th, okay? We're adding like terms. There's no more y4ths. It stays that. 
Okay, there's nothing to change the negative 4, but look, isn't positive 24y squared take away 24y squared? Isn't that no y squared? There's nothing left there. They're gone. That is the answer. All right, there we go. Minus 4 still there. That's still there. The other two terms have gone. I still did a foil, but the outer and the inner ones vanished.